Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman, and this is how to build Eucare, the great being of spirits. Forgive me if I sound a little off today. I've been feeling sick recently, and I'm only just now getting over it, so if I sound a little weird, that would be why. As always, we're going to start with the legs, and without further ado, let's get started. These are the parts you'll need. As usual, I've laid them out in such a way that you can pause the video and build what you see here. Anything that's too complicated to build just from looking at it, I will explain during the uh, tutorial. So, uh, let's start with the foot. You're basically just going to need a normal black metro foot. Add a medium blue hand connector. And next you're going to take this Technic connector with two, two long pins in it and just fill in that back section just like that and that's the entire foot moving on to the lower leg we're gonna start with this construction here so you're gonna need two of those thin right angle Technic connectors a three long uh, three long pin running through the middle of it two Technic connectors on either side with two blue pins on it and a three long axle running all the way through it and you're gonna take this Technic connector with a black pin in it. Place it just like so on the side there, like that. Then you're gonna take these, this construction right here. It's, this is a three long pin with two Technic connectors on either side. Uh, one of those style Technic connectors on the end there. Also, I forgot to mention, you'll probably need a fair bit of these pink flower pieces. But yeah, you're gonna slide it in that side of the connector there and that's that construction built. Next, you're going to set that down. Then you're going to take this construction here and place a stud there and the flowers where you see them there. And then you're going to take this construction here with a three long half size lift arm and a two long half size lift arm, or as I like to call them, very useful pieces. A, a axle to pin, two long pin conversion piece, and then another one of these Technic connectors on that. I'm going to take that and you're going to stick that in the third hole in that construction like so. So it just barely pokes out the front there. And then next you're going to take this whole construction and where this black pin is sticking out, just stick that in the middle hole of this construction, or in the bottom hole actually of this construction, like so. So it slots in perfectly just like so. And then next you're going to set that down, take this Glatorian neck piece, Put a, uh, a stud pin in the side there. I put a half size tire over it and then there's two very useful pieces on either side with a two long pin going through it and another two long axle, I mean a two long axle going through right there. And you're just gonna slide that right in between the uh, connection here. It might be a little tricky to get it in but it's just it should line up just like that. And you just push the axle all the way in like so. That's a fairly secure connection. Then next you're going to take this Technic connector like this, put it on that three long axle sticking in the side like that, until you get something like that. And then, then you're going to take this Technic connector with a two long axle on it, stick that through the top of this connector like that. And then you should have these two open pins here. Take this Mata, this medium blue Mata hand piece, and then just slide that down just like that into those two holes. So that fills in all the gaps there nicely and covers everything up. Then next you're gonna take this too long uh, cut flex tube and you're just gonna stick that, actually we're gonna stick that into the, uh, inside this ball joint socket connector on this uh, size four Hero Factory shell. And then you're gonna stick that, the other end of that uh, flex tube into that stud pin, just like so. It should fit there pretty much perfectly. And then last but not least, you're gonna take this Metro chest plate, attach the uh, two holes on the back here to these two blue pins, so that it drapes over the uh, top of the armor, just like so. And then everything should be lined up on the inside, all the way down, so that you can take this five long uh, axle with a stopper on the end and a ball joint, and just stick that through the middle hole in the chest plate. And once you line it up, slide in all the way and that's the uh, lower leg done. Now this is a mirrored design so you're going to need to flip everything around for the other leg and it's the same case with the upper leg. Alright so for the upper leg all you're going to need to do is take this uh, Anika uh, shin or thigh armor piece, put a four long axle with a stopper on the end going through there, 
Next, you're going to take this six long, all pinhole, uh, thin Technic lift arm. You're going to put a flower piece and a stud piece and a stud piece on the end there, matching those or lining up on those holes. Then through the middle hole here, just slide the or through the upper middle hole here, slide the axle all the way through, so it lines up just like so. And you're going to take one of these three long, thin lift arm pieces, slide that all the way down the axle just like so. And then next you're going to take this medium blue hand connector and just slot that right in just like so with the uh, two long axles sticking out the, well, either side. It depends on which side you're building. So for this side we'll be building the right side. So for the right side, have it sticking out the left. Next up you're going to set that down. Take this uh, slicer head piece and I put a, uh, a visor over this that I've uh, rubbed the paint, the printing off of. And it's a little loose, but I don't mind it. Take a uh, one by two plate and just snap it in that, the bottom of that connector right there. If you didn't know, that's a possibility with this uh, piece here. Then take these two Technic connectors with the axles already on them and a two long axle. And then just line it up with that piece just like so. So you can stick the axle in the bottom there. So you get that, and you can set that down. Go back to your original construction. Take a uh, take an old style hand connector. This will only work with the old style hand connectors, unfortunately. But take a one by take another one by two plate and stick that onto the side into those uh, into those notches here. And then take one end of the lightsaber rod and stick it through the uh, top hole in the uh, Anika armor here. So that fits in just like that. And then go ahead and on the gray axle here stick a too long or a very useful piece just like that. And then another one of these lift arms just on the top like so. And then I stuck a flower in the middle obviously. And then last but not least just take your uh, take this whole construction here, stick it in the side without the axle. And then as you can see the uh, axle from that Technic connector po pokes through the uh, other side a little bit, so we can cap that up with another very useful piece. And then on the end there, just take this construction and stick that onto the end of that two long axle, flip it around, and then in the space between this armor, just stick this uh, other corrugated tube piece, and it just holds in there with friction. And that's how you build the thigh. And once again, it's a mirror design. Go ahead and snap everything together. So the uh, the medium blue connector there snaps onto the uh, the ball joint on the end there, and then obviously the uh, foot goes on the end there. And that's how you build Yukare's legs. Next up, we'll build the arms. All right. Next up for the arms, these are the parts you'll need. Start with the hand is just the basic, simple million times done Gringat hand design just with the slight modifications. I've shown you how to build this a million times so there's really no need to go over it again. The lower arm is thankfully extremely simple. Just take a Vaki lower leg piece, put two black pins on it on either side on the inside there. Then on the uh, on the top we just have this uh, thin lift arm going through here and then this Knight's Kingdom tiny armor piece. I don't really know what they're called. Just stick the uh, larger end on the bottom there and then just use friction to cram it in as far as it'll go. And that basically just holds in permanently like so. Then next up we're going to take another one of these Technic panel pieces, put one of these Technic connectors on the inside there, and then I just put in some detail there with another one of those Knight's Kingdom armor pieces and a flower. And a lot, of, a lot of the times you'll notice I'm having the flowers being held down by other pieces because these things like to fall off a lot. So just uh, take these two connections and snap them together. And that's a mirrored design, obviously. You'll need uh, the opposite side armor panel for that for the other side. But yeah, that's the lower arm. For the upper arm, the uh, basic construction here is just simply that with hand connectors, lift arms, and two three long axles. Uh, go ahead and take an Anika armor piece. Go ahead and take this two long pin, one long axle conversion piece and just stick that in the outside like so. Then on the inside you're just going to take this like pinhole washer piece, 
slide that all the way down that pin like so and then just simply stick that over the uh, the armor there and it connects like so then we're gonna take this piece this uh, this very useful piece and on those top two axles just stick that all the way down and then take this cam Technic connector like so and just attach that over the top of everything else then we have a slicer foot piece with two flowers on it and a Technic connector and that just goes in the bottom there like so and that's for the that's the uh, upper arm everything else just snaps together as usual and there we are that's Yuka Ray's arms. Obviously, you'll need two. Uh, the lower arms are mirrored. I don't think the upper arms are mirrored. And all right, but uh, next we'll move on to the torso. All right, this is a pretty complicated torso, so I'm going to show you how to build this in sections. First of all, we're going to do a lot of the smaller armory chunks of the uh, build here. So to start with, we're going to take this newer style, oops, this newer style uh, slicer hand piece. We're going to put two flowers on either side of it and a mata neck piece right there. And then we're just going to put a stud pin in there with a uh, one of those system tooth pieces, like so. And then that's it for that section. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a Borak shield with two of these Technic connectors on, on the inside, and then two very useful pieces connected to the axle. This is just two more of those Mata hand pieces with a Technic connector link to, linking them together and a three-long axle. And then the waist is just a Vaki waist. Then you're gonna take this uh, Technic connector here with that Knight's Kingdom armor piece, put that in the middle there, and then slide a four long lightsaber rod piece all the way through. You're gonna need it to stick through about a half length on either side. Then on the, on the front, you're gonna take this other slicer foot piece, put two flowers on the back of it, and then take this newer Technic connector here, put it over the axle there. This is gonna be a little bit awkward because this one's very loose. Stick that to the middle there. And then add a two long pin with a uh, hub on the end there into the back hole. That's how you build the waist. And moving on. All right, this next part's pretty simple. This whole construction here is just a uh, one of those protector CCBS torso pieces and we have two of those ball joint extender pieces right there and then for this chunk here you're just gonna take a normal medium blue hand connector put these two long pins on either side and then take a four long thin lift arm there attach that handlebar system piece on like so and then have it hanging off and then on the front just attach a black bow rock eye those will be mirrored and snapped to the bottom there and then just put in roughly that position and that's how you build that section all right this next part is the chest plate these are the parts you'll need to start with we're going to take these two constructions right here this is a, another one of those knight's kingdom pieces with a three long flex tube in it slide that over a three long uh, Technic lift arm with another flower piece on the end there take that slide it into this two long pin on this construction here this is a angle five Technic connector here that will combine with this like so just have those hanging together like that and then this is one of those tri-piece connectors and then you're gonna take two of these uh, black slicer foot pieces add those Technic connectors to uh, have the flower in the middle there and then just snap those onto the two uh, one and a half long axle or pin pieces like so do that for both sides You should get something like that. It will not budge. And then on the bottom here, you're gonna take another slicer foot piece, put two flowers on the ends there, and then two very useful pieces on the inside, just like that. And then slide that onto the bottom of the tri-piece. So it slots in place just like so. And then that's the chest plate. Moving on. All right, this next part is just the bulk of the Technic that holds the whole torso together. Uh, this construction here is made out of two five long thin lift arm pieces and it's got a uh, two three long axles and one three long pin going into the assigned holes there to start with we're going to take this construction here and slide on these two very useful pieces 
with a uh, four long axle sticking through them. And then you're gonna take this connection, this connector right here, add the uh, assigned pins to it, slide that down that four long axle, and then cap it off on the other end with two more very useful pieces, just like so. And then that four long axle should stick out a half length on either side. Next, you're gonna take these two four long axles and Technic connectors right here. And you're gonna take those, have them sticking out this side, just like that. So you get something like that. And then you're gonna take these two thin lift arms here, stick those onto that axle, and then push those axles in a little further. And then you're gonna take these two Technic connectors, just put those onto either end, and just have everything line up there so it fits in there just like that. Then you're gonna take these two Knight's Kingdom armor pieces and the two three long uh, lightsaber rod pieces and then just stick the, uh, the thin side in this bottom hole here so that those lightsaber rods go through the uh, Technic in the middle and then cap it off on the other side with another one, just like so. And then that's how you get that whole construction there. And then next I'll show you how to put them all together. All right, gather all your parts for the torso. Also, you're gonna need these four extra constructions down here, so don't forget about those. So to start with, we'll take this main con construction here and then attach the waist piece on the bottom here by those two uh, black pins on the bottom. Put those on like so, then take the one of the, or both of these very useful pieces and put them on either side, connecting the uh, lightsaber rod to the axle piece, just like so. Next up, you're gonna take this the uh, this armor plate here and then just attach it to that blue pin on the back here like so make sure to watch the flower pieces as usual then take this uh, three long axle with a stu stud on the end and this uh, technic connector and just slide that through that middle hole of those two lift arms like so so that holds it all in place and then next up you're gonna take the uh, the shield piece the borak shield piece and then stick these two connectors into these two axles on the top here. And as you can see, that connector will stick out through the middle of the uh, two prongs there, or whatever. And then next up, take this construction here, break it in half, and then just stagger it over that top axle of that piece like so. As you can see, it won't go, it, well, it can go all the way together, but that'll uh, cause some interference with some of the Technic construction in the back, so I just kind of leave it split apart a little bit, just like so. All right, next up, we'll set that aside. Go for the uh, CCBS chunk right here. On this blue pin, you're gonna take that and stick it into the uh, the axle hole of the tri-piece, like so. Let's take this uh, four long axle with a stopper on the end, stick that through the top hole, like so. And then do the thing I just told you to do, like so. And then everything should snap together pretty much perfectly. You may have to move these uh, hand connectors around a little bit to get the right angle on them, but you should be good. And then last but not least, all you gotta do is just take this axle and stick it in that hole right there. Push it all together and then flip that piece up, straighten out these connections right there, and then that's you could raise torso. Next up, we will do the head. All right, for the head, these are the parts you'll need. Uh, to start with, take a black Mata head piece and stick a pink translucent brain in the back of it. These, uh, these brains came on Tahu, if, you, if you're wondering. Uh, then take a hand connector with a three long axle, stick that in the back hole of the uh, Mata head piece and take a Rakshi head with two thin lift arms on it and stick that onto the other end, like so. And this sort of creates that battle mask style head design that uh, Shadow Gear used to be known for. Uh, set that aside for the mask. It's just a normal Kanohi Komau, but I've taken two Lego studs and shoved them through the holes in the top of the uh, mask here. And then on the other end, I've just capped them off with these flower pieces so they get, they get held in place. And they shake around a little loosely, but that doesn't seem to matter for pictures because they always seem to settle. And then obviously just put the mask on the head, like so. That's all you gotta do. Next up, I will show you how to build her twin swept blades. 
All right, now time for her swept blades. These are the parts you'll need uh, to start with. I want to make sure you guys pay attention to this, that these two uh, right angle Technic lift arms here on the same hole on the bottom here is where I have the uh, one and a half long pin and opposite on the top hole, like so. Go ahead and start with one of these uh, Brutaka sword pieces. I believe this one came on the Sendox, whatever number it was from the uh, Glatorian sets. Uh, and you're just going to go ahead and take these two right angle Technic connectors, just slide them on, or put the uh, one, one and a half long pin on either one of the holes there so that they line up like so. Then take this right angle Technic connector here. Put that in the middle of those two pieces and then slide a two long axle between the two of them so they all hold together like so. Then next up you're going to take another one of these cam pieces, stick that on the, uh, stick that in just like so so that the fatter end is facing towards the back and take another thin three long Technic axle or Technic lift arm, stick it on like that. Then take an axle extender, stick it on the back hole there and then add this construction here for the handle and that's how you create the individual swept blade but also there's this extra piece here in case you want to combine the two into the larger fan style wings that she holds on that she stores on her back uh, all you got to do is take this this construction off the end here slide that back on then take this too long axle, stick it on the inside, or stick it on the end here, like that, and then pop this pin out, stick it on the long side, and then just connect that to the front there. Do the same for the other one. And then once you got the two of those like that, all you gotta do is take this connector right here and just put it on the too long pin like so. And that's how you combine the two. Next up, I'll show you how to put Yuka Ray all together and add this fan to her back. All right, time for the final assembly. Take the head and of course, stick that on the neck, like so. Legs go on the hips. And then arms go on the arm joints, the shoulder joints. And then last but not least, the, uh, the fan connects onto this Technic connector on the back here by that blue pin. So it just sticks on just like that. And then that, that is how you build Yukare. All right, everyone, that is it. That is how you build Yukare. If you liked the video, be sure to like the video. I post awesome Bionicle videos like this every other week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. For my next video, I'll be reviewing Kenpaku, the half-ghost assassin, and victim of Yukare's power. So be sure to check that out when it comes out. Feel free to use any of the designs you see in this video, with or without credit, I don't mind. If you do manage to use a design from this video, or if you'd like to build your own version of this mock, feel free to do so and let me know in the comments below, and I'll feature you in the awesome people section in the description and in the comments. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next How to Build.